All right, guys, here we go. Number five. So we're given a cu negative cubic function as follows. And Partey states that we need to use the remainder theorem, i.e. just plug in a value for x and find the remainder to find the remainder when fx is divided by x minus 1. When this states x minus 1, this implies that the x value itself, when you set the equation to 0, would be positive 1. So, so actually, we're trying to find the value of f1, plug in when x equals 1. And when you do that, you should test to get a remainder. So anyway, just smash 1 to this and you should get the answer of 2. So the remainder here is 2. That's it, that's what you do guys, 2 marks for that, so easy. And now use the factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is a factor of fx. So firstly, to show that this is a factor, this implies that fx must equal 0 when, in this case, x equals 3. So let's check it out. When you plug in 3 into this equation, remember to put 3 around the bracket so it becomes very clear. And you should get an answer of two, 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 0. Yep, so clearly this is a factor. So you must state, therefore, remainder is 0, so x minus 3 is clearly, is clearly a factor of the function. Now, C, hence fully factorize the equation. Right, so since we know that x minus 3 is one factor, we, we actually need to find a quadratic factor from this to get two more factors. So, and, and the only way, or at least the safest way to do this is to actually use um, the long division method. So let's, let's do this here. Yeah? So using long division, let's say x minus 3 can be divided into, copy now carefully, so minus 4x cubed plus, let me check, 16x squared minus 13x, x squared minus 13x plus 3. All right, so let's go ahead and do this here. So first things first, um, let's plug in x. So we need to, we need to have a, a common term. So we can say x goes into minus 4x cubed exactly minus 4x squared times. That's always the first step, yeah? How many times x goes into the initial term? So what do you do here? So now you just multiply. So you say, okay, so 4x squared multiply the linear expression will firstly give us minus 4x cubed and then plus 12x squared. Easy. Now you just subtract. You just do as you do for the long division. So 6x squared minus 12x squared will give us 4x squared. We already know that the first two terms will give us 0. And now what do you do next? Well, you just drop the minus 13x, it becomes minus 13x. Then we ask ourselves, how many times does x fit into 4x squared? Well, it fits in exactly 4x times. So 4x times the linear expression will give us 4x squared minus 12x. Subtracting this, you should get minus 13 minus minus 12 will give us minus x. Drop the 3, as always, and then do the same thing. How many x is fit into minus x? Well, fits in negative 1 times. Just make sure it's all clear. And then here you just do minus 1 times the linear expression. It should give us minus x plus 3. And then subtracting this should give us a remainder of 0. So yes, we actually done it correctly. To, to know that you've done it correctly, always ensure that you get a final remainder of 0 every time. Okay, that's all. Now, going back to this one, so we can say, therefore, let me just put in this page, therefore, fx equals x minus 3 times the, the, the new quadratic term. So minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. And now we just have to factorize this one. And it's not, it's not too bad to factorize. To make your life easy, I would firstly take out a negative sign of this to make 4x squared positive. So we could just say put a dot here. So if we take the negative sign, we're going to have minus um, 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And now factorizing this one, you should actually get, let's see. Da -da -da. Let's have a look. Factorizing this part, you can put 2x here and 2x here. And yeah, it's actually quite easy. Because you've you got 1s on both sides, it will have to be plus 1. For, uh, minus one for both sides reason being is that we need to get negative 4x and the only way to get negative 4x is that we need to have minus 2x twice so 2x times minus 1 is negative 2x minus 1 times 2x is another negative 2x so it gives us a negative 4x and of course we leave the minus sign outside and x minus 3 and just to get rid of this ugly minus sign just times the minus sign to x minus 3 and it becomes what 3 minus x everything rotates 
And that's it, guys. That's literally all you do for this question. Not bad, huh? <sighs> all right. So next one.